Ông cười cho. Please be seated. Ông The President, reprise de Once again, the floor is given to the prosecution to continue putting in further questions to this witness. You may proceed. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, Mr. Witness, I'd like to uh, read to you now and ask you about a a uh, another document which is e3 slash 1091 that's e3 slash 1091 uh, which was a, a telegram 53 sent from psi of zone 801 to committee 870 uh, on the 23rd of august 1977 And let me read to you the first paragraph of this telegram, which states as follows, quote, according to the decision of the party, I had been assigned to work in Region 103 for a period of time. I would like to report on my activities as follows. In a period of 10 days, I worked in five districts, Beng, Kulin, Sankam Tamai, Rovieng, and Chaum Kassan. I made conferences in each district with the participation of district chiefs, community chiefs, and some other offices in the districts. In the conferences, parties, political guidelines were lectured, end of quote. Uh, in your interview, um, uh, Mr. Witness, you discuss a individual named Kong Chop, alias Tsai. Uh, can you tell us who Tsai was? Sai was indeed Kong Chap, who was the chairman of the new North Zone in Simrip. There were 101 and 103 within that zone. Do you recall Kong Chap uh, coming to work in Sector 103 for 10 days in August 1977, uh, during which time he convened conferences with district cadres. Initially, for the appointment of a Kong Chap as the chairman of the Kong zone, était nommé président de la zone. It was presided by Uncle Nunchi at the time. That's how I got to know this person. Ainsi que je connu. Okay, I will. Uh, I ask you some questions about this uh, meeting where Noon Chia was present in a few minutes. Um, before I do that, there's one other document I want to ask you about. And this is E3 slash 1144. E3 slash 1144. And this is a telegram from Kang Chop alias Se to Committee 870 dated the 5th of September 1977 that is copied to Uncle, Uncle Nguyen, Brother Van, Brother Vorn, and Brother Q. And at the end of section one of this telegram, uh, there is a report on the situation of the internal enemy uh, in which Sai reports as follows, and let me read this passage to you, quote, at the bases 
offices, ministries, and military offices. We have uncovered many enemies who are burrowing from within, either through the spying of their anti-revolution activities or through the implications. Those enemies who were former officials, policemen, or soldiers of the previous regime were discovered one after another." Uh, end of quote. Uh, can I ask you whether, first of all, whether uh, former officials, soldiers, and policemen from the Law No regime were considered to be enemies of the CPK? Through my knowledge, Réponse. after the appointment of Konchep as the president of the zone, était nommé président de la zone, some of the cadres were arrested. Certains cadres ont été arrêtés. And I gathered some of the scatters together with another handicapped person, and we took those scatters to the forest. And we lived there. We heard the heard the scatters there, so we did not know much about what happened in the district. En fait, nous étions à cet endroit, et nous n'étions pas très au courant de ce qui s'est passé dans le district period of Democratic Kampuchea from April 75 to January 79, were there efforts made in Sector 103 to identify persons who were connected to the former regime, to the Law Null regime? After 17 April, Après le 17 avril, former Lunar soldiers and officers stayed uh, with the cooperatives Les and some were sent to various uh, other production units. As far as I know, there were no purchase of those people. They were grouped together in various production units. That's all I knew. Thank you, uh, Mr. Witness. I want to now uh, turn to the subject you referred to a few minutes ago, uh, which was a meeting relating to the appointment uh, of the new North Zone uh, that uh, was presided over by Noon Chea. Uh, can you tell us, first of all, when and where uh, this meeting took place? As I recall it, Réponse. at that time Après I souvenirs, worked near the uh, sector office in uh, Tumlopa village. Je près du bureau du secteur dans le and of course there Tumlopa. was a meeting place at the sector office. Et au bureau du secteur, il y avait and un in fact, I was also called to participate in the meetings together with the chiefs from various réunions, other leadership uh, level. Ainsi que des chefs uh, de divers échelons. Noon Chi made an announcement to appoint a call chap as the chairman de of the zone and de la zone. The sectors were no longer autonomous because the zone was established that was for the same river area. This event occurred probably in, 19, in late 1977. And uh, how long 
did Nunchea speak uh, at this meeting? Et pendant combien de temps Nunchea est-il intervenu lors de cette réunion? The meeting lasted only for one morning. La réunion a duré une matinée. And in fact, simplement. after the meeting, there was no lunch provided to the participants. Réunion, we went to eat at our respective uh, locations, uh, except for some uh, cadres uh, who came from a further distance, and some of them were given lunch at my loin. place. Certains d'entre eux ont déjeuné chez moi. And it, it, during this meeting that lasted for one morning, Question. Uh, how long did Nunchea speak? D'une matinée. Pendant combien de temps Nunchea a-t-il parlé? For that one morning session, he Réponse. did not really speak much. Pendant la matinée, he spoke il about the situation parlé. of the reintegration il of the sectors into the new zone and about the production, the rice production of 3.5 tons per hectare through seven hectares. And that we all try to, to work hard to build dams and to rest canals and to work on uh, fertilizer. Et aussi produire de l'engrais. And uh, about other units of appointments of the heads of other uh, sectors were the confidential meetings where I was not allowed to attend. Mais il y avait des réunions confidentielles auxquelles uh, je At the meeting that you attended, did Nunchea talk about uh, the enemy Nunchea situation, situation uh, such as presence of agents from the CIA and KGB? To my recollection, Réponse. he spoke about that, that we at the best had to be vigilant Il a dit que because the enemy conducted base, their activities burrowing inside, était actif but he only spoke briefly on this matter. Mais Il en a parlé que but he spoke at length about the uh, rice production and the production, production between 3.5 tons to 7 tons uh, per hectare and about the organization of the zone. And can you tell us in a little more detail what Question. specifically he said about rice production uh, and uh, 3.5 to 7 tons per hectare? Et le rendement de 3, uh, was he providing uh, rice production goals for the sector, or what was uh, Nunchea's statements in regards to rice production? Kadi Nunchea sur la production de riz. In order to achieve the production of 3.5 tons to 7 tons per hectare is uh, for the transformation of the, the people living in the sector so that there will be abundant of food to supply within the sector. Pour qu'il y ait suffisamment de nourriture produite dans le secteur. And he spoke that the rice production by the people in the sector was just enough. And with the evacuees from Phnom Penh, it was a additional burden on the output of the rice production. Cela and for that reason, he encouraged the increase of the production from 3.5 to 7 tons per hectare so that people living in the area would have sufficient food to eat, three meals per day, and a dessert, uh, and a dessert every uh, 10 days. Manger trois repas par jour et avoir un dessert tous les dix jours. And that's all when he spoke about the, the voilà rice production. Ce a dit sur la production de riz. And for the goals to, in order to achieve the 3.5 to 7 hectares, quant au rendement de 3,5 à 7 tonnes par hectare, he 
did not speak about the surplus. He Il only spoke about the supply, the sufficient supply of the people living in the area. And so in this, there was no uh, road outside where the output of the surplus uh, could be uh, transported through. How did you know that the person who Question. spoke at this meeting uh, was Nunchea? Because I personally attended the meeting, Parce que à la en and uh, during the break, uh, he actually uh, made a visit uh, through my uh, site and my unit, il est venu and uh, he was amongst uh, other people près de moi et de ceux with de uh, the, the cook, for, and of course uh, by that time I knew it was him. Il y avait aussi un cuisinier, et donc je savais que c'était lui. Did you know what Noon Chea's position was Question. at that time? À l'époque, saviez-vous quelles étaient les fonctions de Noon Chea? At that time, Réponse. from what I knew and based on the announcement on the radio broadcast, he was the president of the Assembly of Democratic Cambodia. You've also stated, uh, this is referring to answer number 10, of your OCIJ interview, uh, that following the open meeting that you attended, uh, that there was a, what you called a secret meeting, that was only attended by Noon Chea, Kong Chap, and two cadres that had been brought from the southwest zone to take over in the sector, Ta Kim and Ta uh, Can you tell us how you knew that this secret meeting had taken place involving Nun Chea and these other persons? In fact, I knew about that based on my analysis. Le fruit I de ma knew analyse. about the meeting at the zone level, but as for the meetings at the sector level, for the assignment of Par Kim contre, and Sarun to and be pour ce qui uh, est in charge of the sectors Sarun after the disappearance of uh, Tahong. Ta but I did not know the details about where the meeting took place or the number of the participants. Ou quant au nombre de participants. Uh, in that same Question. answer, answer number 10, cette même réponse, you stated 10, that following the meeting uh, that was conducted by Noon Chea, there were, quote, a series of arrests série of Bong Hong and other people in sector 103. Uh, can you tell us how long, uh, how long was it after the meeting with Noon Chea that Hong disappeared? It was not long after Réponse. that meeting was held. Était peu de temps Hong après la réunion. disappeared. And uh, the arrest uh, began. That Les is the arrest for cadres in the all units, including the sector office. Unités, and the family and the relatives and the children les of familles, uh, Hong parents, les enfants, were uh, also arrested. Hong in fact, the arrests were not uh, apparent as they were uh, called aussi. to get onto en the fait, vehicle and uh, disappeared. Que des arrestations. Ces gens ont été emmenés dans un véhicule, puis ils ont disparu. Uh, for the record, Mr. President, um, as this, this witness has testified, uh, that this meeting with Noon Che took place in late 1977, Le témoin that a dit Hong que was arrested 
uh, not long after that meeting. Um, Mr. President, document E3-342, which is the OCP revised S21 prisoner list, uh, indicates uh, at number 221 on that list that Bu Pat Elias Hong, sec Secretary of Sector 103, entered S21 on the 3rd of January 1978. And at this time, uh, I would like to refer uh, the witness. Interruption du President, président. Uh, Mr. Witness, uh, please uh, Témoin, wait attendre. the council for Nguyen Chia. La parole est à la défense de Nguyen uh, uh, Thank you, Maître Coppe. Mr. President. Merci, I'm not quite sure what uh, the addition of this um, evidence uh, has for meaning. Ce que cela we are here questioning a witness. We are here not presenting réunion. evidence. Je parle donc de ce um, document. So the Nous purpose là of pour saying pour something interroger un témoin et pas pour présenter des éléments de preuve ni pour faire acter quoi que ce soit ou pour établir un lien entre une réunion et une arrestation. À ce stade, so, cela n'est pas de mise. Um, um, record. Je demande donc que cette partie If I may respond, Mr. President, this is something we've done before. This biffé. objection has been made before, and the court ruled that Déjà where we have passé, relevant documents that relate to the subject matter, that this is the appropriate time to, to notify the court of them. This is a document that corroborates the witness's testimony and establishes the timing of the events that he's discussed. That's the reason for putting it on the record. Uh, and uh, uh, this is something that has been done in the past. This objection has been made before and overruled. Le Président. In fact, the Chamber has allowed this kind of uh, questioning and the presentation of the evidence. De présentation de pièces and we a have déjà actually dans le passé. refused as such an objection by the defense counsel previously. The prosecution you may continue with your questioning. Peut Thank you, Mr. President. Merci, uh, at President. this time, I'd like to uh, read uh, to the witness a letter or statement uh, that was written by uh, Sector 103 Secretary Hong uh, on the morning of 5 January 1978, immediately following his arrest. Uh, this is a statement in which he uh, requests the party leaders to release him and indicates that he's not a traitor. The document is E3-2470. Uh, and the specific references um, that I will read are from Khmer 00296593 through 296594 uh, English 00 76 and French 00842846 through 47. In this document, Hong wrote, Ici, voici ce quote, Hong. Je cite, My dearest, respected, and beloved party, and my dearest, respected, and beloved party, brothers who are the party frères, leaders, et bien -aimés, I would like to ask you, the parti. dearest, respected, and beloved party and brothers, to find justice for me, please. 
I have never had any justice. thought, even a tiny one, Jamais about betraying the party. I have never joined in any discussions with any traitors of those strains. The party reviews my background and sees that I am not a traitor. Please, the party, spare my life. And in the immediate preceding paragraphs, uh, Hong addresses the possible reasons for his uh, mistaken arrest and states, quote, during the first assembly of Zone 801, brother number two came to preside over it. In the meeting, when brother mentioned about the loss of tens of thousands of meters of electrical wire, I was worrying and thinking that brother might be upset and suspicious of me about that. Also, during this year's training, when brother spoke about the economizing idea, brother said why the sawmill machine often stopped working unexpectedly, while saying that brother was glancing at me. But although I was scared by these, I never had any thought at all that I would be arrested by the party on the traitorous charge. Uh, Mr. Witness, uh, in this document, Hong refers to a first assembly of Zone 801. Uh, the meeting that you have just described for us that Noon Che attended, uh, was it a meeting that was referred to as the first assembly of Zone 801? I do not know about that. Je n'en sais rien. It, in fact, the meeting was not amongst the uh, zone La committee, but the meeting was held for all those leadership level at the uh, sector regarding the appointment of the zone. Can I ask you, the meeting that you attended Question. with where Noon Che was present, did Hong attend à la that meeting? À laquelle vous avez assisté en présence de Nunchea, est-ce que Hong était présent lui aussi? As I recall it, d'après mes souvenirs, all the former cadres of a sector one or three, les anciens one or three were present, including Hong. Présents, y compris Hong. And all the representatives of various offices within the sector one or three were present. Tous les du secteur 103 étaient présents. I want to turn now to uh, a few more communications um, that ensued uh, in the first part of 1978. The first um, is document E3 slash 918. E3 slash 918. This is a telegram that was sent by uh, Zone Secretary Tsai to Committee 870, copied to Uncle, Uncle Nguyen, Brother Van, Brother Vorn, Brother Q, Office and Archive which is dated the 10th of January, 1978, uh, approximately one week after the arrest of Hong. And in this document, Sector 103 is discussed in the last three paragraphs. And let me read to you um, an excerpt from the second to last paragraph, uh, where a Sai reported to the leaders Ici, in Phnom Penh as follows, quote, according to the presentation of comrades from the commune during the study session, it was made known that this year in Pre Pahir sector, in the majority of places there is starvation because there were only large quantity of transplantation 
but no quality, which was as a result of poor harvest. End of quote. Uh, can you describe for the chamber your recollection of the problem of starvation in sector 103 in the time period of January 1978? Through my knowledge, In late 1977 or early 1978, I in fact went to the forest to herd the cattle there. For that reason, I could not uh, attest to the situation at the best. Je n'étais donc pas en contact Regarding avec la base of the cadres or the combatants who were then sent to Simriep. Envoyés ultérieurement à Simriep. While I was at the base, however, Toutefois, alors que j'étais dans I the cattle, I alors que observe je m'occupais du bétail, j'ai pu fact, observer certaines uh, since choses. The beginning, in a Previhir Depuis province, le début, dans la province de Prévihiar, no il n'y avait absolument of pas eu de disette. Uh, Parfois, in le riz venait uh, some à manquer, à tant tel ou tel they, district, they were uh, mais dans ce cas-là, ce district districts. recevait du riz d'un autre district. And of course, when there was a shortage of rice, en sometimes people ate riz, potatoes sûr, to replace the, the rice des shortage. De terre pour compenser That's cette pénurie the real situation that I knew, and beyond that, voilà I could la not say anything. Que je la connaissais. À part cela, je ne peux rien dire d'autre. You uh, told us uh, a few minutes ago that Noon Chea talked about increasing rice production from three and a half hectares per acre to seven hectares per acre. Hectares. Uh, based on your experience in Prévahir, was it feasible or possible to produce seven hectares of rice per hectare? I'm sorry, seven acres of rice per hectare. Acre de riz par hectare, dit le coprocureur. Through my observation Réponse. regarding the production of a seven tons per hectare, it could only be achieved for the cela était double harvest seasons with the support of uh, beating the dam. Without the uh, water from the dam, that goal could not par be achieved. Cet objectif était impossible à réaliser. Good dry production uh, sometimes existed in a Gulen district in Chaip or Kangsen. À Chaip ou Kangsen, la production de riz a été bonne. Achieve about uh, three tons per hectare. But in the area where I worked, mais là où je me travaillais, we have wasted uh, twice Nous per year and we almost reached the goal. Deux fois par but the thing is, the area there was a quite a high fixé, land area. We, mais it, it was uh, different from the areas in Kulen or Bantemienche. So we could not achieve uh, that, that goal. Pu atteindre Through my observations, And uh, some villages could only harvest uh, once per year, so the output uh, is not uh, that great. Donc, le pas très grand. And uh, uh, another dam at Odom Lok was uh, built, but uh, the irrigation from that dam was not yet operational. There was uh, another dam in the district. Il y avait encore un autre barrage dans so de for uh, certain districts, when they could uh, have uh, twice a year with uh, sufficient fertilizer, they assez could uh, achieve uh, that goal. On pouvait atteindre cet objectif. In the same uh, report uh, that I was just referring dans you to, le même rapport, uh, the 10 January 1978 telegram from 
Donc side, le Telegram adressé uh, to committee par 870, au comité 870, uh, E3-918, uh, le dernier paragraphe, uh, SAI évoque le projet d'aller dans le secteur 103. He indicates that he has appointed a person named Comrade Bun Chan as his Bun assistant Chan at sector 103. Le sector And he then reports to the leaders in Phnom Penh that when he goes to sector 103, quote, I will 103, send more crocodiles to the organization, please receive them, end of quote. Dit, Je vous prie de les uh, based on the language and expressions that were used at the time, can you explain what was meant by the reference to crocodiles that would be sent to the organization? Ces crocodiles qui seraient envoyés à l'organisation. I did not know Réponse. about the existence of this document. Je ne connaissais pas about the crocodile de ce document. Matter. Je ne sais rien non plus concernant I cette question de crocodile. Uh, that issue. Je ne comprends pas. I'd like to ask you a few questions about a, another document, uh, which is E3-1077, E3-1077. This is a 10 April 1978 telegram uh, from uh, Zone Secretary Tsai to Committee 870, uh, also copied to Uncle, Uncle Nguyen, Uncle Van, Uncle Vorn. And the uh, first a section of this report Dans la première partie de to ce Committee rapport, 870 discusses the enemy situation and includes the following ennemis. statement, On y quote, le passage suivant. The base of the traders is on Dangrek Mountain. We have a plan to search and destroy it. The Intom group previously used the traders in Sector 103 whose leader was Ah Hung. He was their supporter. But after we arrested Hung and all of his henchmen in Cham Kassan district and in Sector 103 military unit, the In Tam group has no more support. Uh, my question for you is, um, can you tell the chamber who In Tam was? In Tam. Yes, I understand. Réponse. In Tam was the Sarika group at the Prasad Pravihir. And Pravihir. the Prasad Pravihir was in fact liberated in July. Pravihir a été libéré en juillet. And uh, from the liberation, that is after 1975, there was no longer the Intam group. Le groupe d'Intam a cessé d'exister. Il ne restait que certains vestiges de ces forces. Stay in various uh, villages, but there was no concentrated force along the Long Ridge Mountain. Pas de concentration de force but in dans fact, uh, before 1975, before the liberation, yes, sometimes they engaged in activities. Là, oui, parfois, ils se sont livrés à certaines activités. Uh, the last document uh, I would like to uh, uh, ask the witness about, uh, Mr. President, and this document uh, I would like to present to him um, to see if he recognizes the names uh, that appear uh, on the cover page of the document. Uh, this is E3-175, uh, which is a color copy, and also uh, E3 slash 3563, E3 slash 3563, uh, which is a complete version of the same document. If I document. can present these to the witness with your leave, Mr. President, Monsieur I would like to see if he can identify uh, the document people who are referenced in the document.
President, yes, you may proceed. Le Court officer, could you prie, deliver the hard copy document from the prosecution for the witness examination? Uh, Mr. Witness, the part of the document I want to refer you to is the cover uh, letter, um, which is a letter, handwritten letter from Zone Secretary Say to Committee 870 dated the 17, 17th of April 1978, uh, which reads as follows, respected and beloved Committee 870, I would like to send the responses of one San Ap Elias Kun, Commerce Sector 103 in Phnom Penh, and two Sui Alias Pong, Sui alias Security Pong, Sector 103, Security du for the committee's review and to serve as documents for researching embedded traitorous networks burrowing from within. Les ennemis, uh, an annotation on the left-hand margin of the document states, follow up. Gauche, il y a une um, qui dit, the suivre. document that is included with the cover letter is the confession of the cadre named Son Op alias Kun, de ce cadre who is identified as a Sector 103 Commerce cadre comme un cadre du based in Phnom Penh. Uh, can you tell us, did you know this person? Connaissiez-vous cette personne? I do not know the native uh, name of this person, je but I know the alias of Con. Le nom de cette personne, mais je connais son no, surnom qui est Con. Con, in fact, uh, worked with uh, Comrade Ping. Con travaillait avec le Comrade Ping. And was Con someone who worked? at the Question. Sector 103 Commerce Office in Con Phnom Penh, or did he work Penh in Prévahir? Do you know the name of this Before, he was in Prévahir, but later he, début, he came to Prévahir. Phnom Penh. My last question to you, uh, Mr. Prom Su, uh, before I turn over to the civil parties. Um, in this document, uh, number 37 of the list of persons at the end of San Op's confession that was sent to Committee 870 uh, uh, lists you, Su, Commerce et Member, Sector 103. And my question for you is simply, were you ever informed by your superiors uh, that you had been implicated dit, uh, by Con or by any other uh, Sector 103 cadres. Response. After Hong had uh, been arrested, uh, I had to de Hong, stay in the forest, and I had no knowledge dans la forêt, of uh, the list. Uh, but I'm familiar with these names, the names mentioned liste, in the list, including persons by the name of Fa and Dun. That's all. Fa et Dun. Uh, that is all the questions I have. I thank you, uh, Mr. Pramsu, very much for your time. Uh, Mr. President, we have no further questions. The President, thank you. We would like to now hand over to the lead co lawyers for the civil parties to put questions to the witness. You may proceed. Count So Big Ang. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, for the remaining time, we would like uh, councils, Benier, 
How can I be able to uh, put some questions uh, to the witness? Um, but before that, allow me to introduce myself. I am Big Ang, the co-lead lawyer for the Civil Party, tour, and very good morning, Mr. Prum Su. I would like to have a question Bonjour, for Prum you first uh, regarding the event in Stung San in Kampung, Kampung Tom. You said people were transported by boats. How many boats uh, were engaged in transporting them those days? Response. I don't remember having known how many boats uh, were used to transport uh, these people or how often they would transport them. I was in charge of distributing only materials and supplies uh, for these evacuees uh, from the commerce section. Question. Thank you. You said that about 3,000 people were evacuated from Phnom Penh. Do you remember the age group of these evacuees? Rappelez-vous quel âge avaient ces évacués? Response. Réponse. People were from different age groups. There were adults, elderly people, adultes, young children, âgées, enfants, and uh, I can say that they were from all walks of lives and uh, in the des gens de a mixture origine. of people of different age groups. Et Question. Thank you. Diverse. Can you tell the chamber, please? Question. Merci. Upon arriving Kampung Tom, did you en see Kampung Tom, these evacuees already arrived, had arrived before you came to receive them? Ces évacués étaient-ils déjà sur place lorsque vous êtes Response. venus les accueillir? These evacuees uh, came Réponse. to Kampung Tom on several occasions. Les évacués sont arrivés à Kampung Tom. And they, uh, the first time I went to receive them, there were only some of them, and then people kept coming, and we had to distribute uh, the supplies uh, subsequently. Question. Et when your group la suite, arrived Kampong Tom to distribute uh, the supply to, uh, to these people, what was your impression regarding the food that these people had? Was, was it enough? Quelles étaient vos impressions concernant la nourriture Response. à la disposition de ces personnes? Était-ce suffisant? When I saw them, there was not plenty food, uh, plenty of food available uh, to them, but uh, there was decent food, uh, and we had to supply them with more food. And the food uh, could be found uh, from the river, for example, fish could be caught uh, to feed these uh, people. Exemple, des Question, dans la I apologize. Les... Uh, perhaps I did not make uh, myself clear. That's why I haven't received uh, your response clair, uh, to uh, my question. My question is, um, question during the time when they were waiting to be received by your group, did the evacuees uh, have enough food to eat? Votre groupe et votre accueil, en attendant, avait-il suffisamment à manger? 
So far as I know, réponse. there was no lack of food. À ma connaissance, la nourriture ne manquait pas. Because these evacuees were better off than the local villagers in Kampung Tom during the time of the evacuation. That's what I felt. De Campanton pendant Question. la période de l'évacuation. C'était mon impression. Question. How long would it take uh, for these people to be evacuated uh, all the way from Phnom Penh to Kampong Tom Provincial Town? And how long did it take for you and your group to transport them to their Et respective locations combien de after Kampong Tom? Response vers leur from à partir de Phnom Penh. Réponse. To Kampong Tom through boat would take some time, but how long it would take, I don't know. Il faut un certain temps, mais je ne sais pas de temps. They were received at Stung Sain Hotel, Ils reçus where they would be further transported to Rovien district. Ils étaient if our trucks uh, did not break down halfway si or midway, for example, it would take us one chemin, full day to transport them from this hotel to Rovien district. Vers le district de Rovien. The road's uh, condition after 1975 Après was not very bad, so we could travel by trucks transporting these evacuees, although there would be parts uh, of the roads that were not very good, but in general, the condition si of the roads uh, were Certaines parties de la route euh, étaient en mauvais état. La plupart du temps, Question. la route était suffisamment en bon état were pour les transporter. Question. Est-ce que groups, les évacués transférés à Rovien ont été euh, classés dans des Question. groupes uh, de type différents in sector 103, Réponse. no classification of people would have Dans le secteur 103, been made uh, because il a pas they eu were de well assisted and they were placed uh, to live together with the base people and I could see an atmosphere of harmony was in place. Uh, people, the new people, the base people could uh, live together in a harmonious way. So when they fell ill, then they would be helped by one another. And uh, when food uh, was not enough, then they would uh, be assisted uh, by the commerce section and there was no difficulty at all. Question. I have a final question about uh, this evacuation again and uh, this last question is what was your impression regarding the livelihood of the evacuees? The time when you saw them at Kampong Tom and Aussi bien have it compared with the, the, the condition you noted when they were transferred uh, to Rovien Cooperative. So my question is more about your feeling about en fait, the living condition was it different the, the first time you saw them and two years after avait-elle changé entre le moment où vous les avez vus pour la première fois Response. et deux années plus tard réponse 
for those evacuees who were not sick during the time of the evacuation they had no big problem they were more like base people and in the, the, the problem uh, was only seen in in one of the incidences where a group of people were transported to a new village, a completely new established uh, village uh, where these people were placed helplessly and uh, they encountered a lot of hardship uh, uh, there. That's, that's the only uh, incident. Council Pekong, uh, thank you. Mr. Witness, I believe that I, with that I have the very final question. Please, uh, Maître Picon, merci, before Monsieur I Témoin. hand over to my colleague, um, you said question. that Sector 103 was an autonomous Vous avez dit que le sector sector. Était autonome. If you comp If we compare Sector 103 to si other sectors uh, with the, uh, the center, uh, can you say why Sector 103 uh, named Autonomous Response. Sector 103 was an autonomous Because sector that is not answerable to the center. Autonome qui ne dépendait pas du centre. Or rather, not answerable to the zones uh, like other sectors. For example, sectors um, 103 or uh, 106. Uh, sector 103 was directly responsible uh, to the center. For other sectors, they had to report to the, the zones and then to the center. So I think uh, this is the simple ex explanation why Sector 103 was autonomous. Council Pekong, thank you, Mr. Witness, Maître again, Pekong, and thank you, Mr. President and Your Honours. With that, I would like to cede uh, the floor over to uh, Council Binier. Thank you. Good morning, Your Honours. Good morning to everyone in and around Merci. the courtroom. Good morning, Mr. Bronso. My name is Benny Ye. I'm one of the international Monsieur civil party lawyers, and I just have five minutes to ask you very few questions. My first question is following up on what Mr. Ang just asked you. You said that the pe people from Phnom Penh encountered hardship only when they were transferred, transferred to this new village where they had to um, where they had to do plantations. Can you, can you tell us why only the new people from Phnom Penh were transferred to this new village and not the base people? Response. Response. 98% of the evacuees uh, were placed uh, in the old village. But des the ont été placés dans d'anciens villages. Experience. Uh, it was part of the experiment uh, by um, the Khmer Rouge uh, to start. Uh, the new place uh, where Ça people could be uh, made to live and it was a part of the trial for example they would vie. like uh, to uh, place these new people in the new areas to see whether these people could live there or not On but after they experienced some hardship these people were si transferred back to live with the, the normal cooperatives Ils ont été thank dans you les um, you also said that the people from Phnom Penh had to leave Phnom Penh because of security issues my question is did you see see any people from Phnom Penh go back from sector 103 back to Phnom Penh in any point of time during democratic Cambodia?
response. During the democratic Cambodia, evacuees would not be allowed to return to Phnom Penh. For example, during this uh, period, people who were exemple, evacuated to Prévihir never returned to Phnom Penh until 1979 or after 1979 when a huge number of them returned to Phnom Penh. But some remained in Prévihir because they got used to living there already. Thank you. And now my last question concerns question. the Cambodian students who came back from abroad and who were sent to Sector 103 from Phnom Penh. Um, do you know why these students were sent to Sector 103 from Phnom Penh? Response. For those uh, people who belong to the petty bourgeoisie and other Les classes, uh, they that, that classes they do not did not belong to the peasant class, it would be asked to go and live with the villagers so that they can learn from how people live their life in the paddy fields. Thank you very much. I have no further questions, Mr. Promso, and I wish you a good journey back home. Merci beaucoup. Je n'ai plus de questions, Monsieur Promso. Je vous souhaite un bon retour chez vous. The President. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Witness. Your testimony is not yet complete, and we would like to adjourn this session, but uh, we would like uh, to hear your testimony again tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Mr. Prumsu, as I already indicated, uh, we are going to hear your testimony again Comme tomorrow déjà précisé, nous and you are now invited to come back demain. to the courtroom vous êtes donc at 9 a.m. tomorrow. Court officer is now directed to assist demain. with Vesu to ensure Monsieur that Mr. Prumsu is properly assisted during this adjournment and that he is returned to the courtroom by tomorrow at 9 a.m. And the Chamber wishes to inform the parties and the public that uh, during these afternoon sessions, the Chamber will be hearing TCW277 through video link where the witness is testifying from France. This session will commence from 1.30 p.m. until 5 p.m à 13h30 jusqu'à 17h. Security personnel are now directed to bring Mr. Kyosun Pond to his uh, holding cell and have him return to the courtroom at 1.30. The court is adjourned.